In this video, we're going to learn how to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. If you haven't already done so, I'd recommend that you first watch my two videos on how to complete the square. Links to those videos are in the description. So here we have a quadratic equation, and we're asked to solve it by completing the square. You may know some other methods, for example, factorising or the quadratic formula, but completing the square is quite a good method too. To do this, leave the right-hand side of the equation alone, just write equals zero. But on the left-hand side, we're going to write this in the completed square form. To do that, we write a bracket squared, and then to work out what goes in the bracket, we half the coefficient of x. Since the coefficient of x is currently plus 4, we'll half that to get plus 2. We then subtract the square of this number, so subtract 2 squared, which is take away 4, and then finally take the 3 from the question and write that down too. We can simplify these two terms here, so negative 4 take away 3 is negative 7, and this is now in the completed square form. We're not quite done yet though. The question asked us to solve the equation. If we solve an equation, we need to arrive at the answer x equals, so we're not quite there yet. To do this, I'm going to rearrange this so it looks like x equals. The first thing to do is write an equal sign, and then I'm going to try and get rid of this negative 7 here. To do that, I'm going to add 7 to the left hand side. If you add 7 to the left hand side, it will cancel out the negative 7 here, leaving us just with the bracket. So this left hand side is now x plus 2 all squared. If you add 7 to the left though, you need to also add 7 to the right. So 0 add 7 is 7. The next thing I want to do is try and get rid of the squared symbol. To get rid of a squared, you need to do the inverse of squaring, which is square rooting. So I'm going to square root the left hand side. If I square root the left hand side, the squared disappears, so I'm just left with x plus 2. I then need to square root the right hand side, which would give me square root 7. You should always consider when you square root in this way that there are two roots, the positive and negative root, so I should write plus or minus square root 7. The final thing to get rid of is the plus 2. To remove a plus 2, you subtract 2. So subtracting 2 from the left just leaves us with x, and subtracting 2 from the right will leave us with plus or minus root 7, and then subtract 2. Now it's unlikely that we'll leave our answer in this form. If this is written down badly, it could look like the negative 2 is inside the square root. So what we tend to do is put the number first and switch these round. So I would write the answer as x equals negative 2 plus or minus square root 7. Now of course there are two answers here, and I would write both of these as separate solutions. So the solutions to this equation are x equals negative 2 plus root 7, and x equals negative 2, subtract root 7. And now we've solved the equation using the completed square method. This next equation is a little bit different. For the last equation, the right hand side was equal to 0. This time the right hand side is equal to 2x plus 3. This method will only work if the right hand side is equal to 0, so our first job should be to eliminate the terms 2x and plus 3 from the right hand side. When we solve this equation, we're going to write down the steps each time. Step 1 then will always be to write the equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, if it isn't already in that form. All this means is the right hand side must be 0 and all of the terms would be on the left hand side. Let's have a look at how we do this for our equation then. First of all, write down an equal sign, then decide what you need to subtract. We know we're trying to get rid of 2x and plus 3, so we're going to subtract 2x and subtract 3 from both sides. On the right hand side, this is really easy, it just gives 0. On the left hand side, we have a bit of work to do though. The x squared will remain unchanged, since we're not taking away any x squareds. The negative 4x will be affected by the negative 2x, to give negative 6x. And the 10 will be affected by the 3, so 10 take away 3 is 7. Our equation is now in the correct form. Step 2 then should be to complete the square on the left hand side. When we do this, the right hand side will still be equal to 0, so we'll write that down first. On the left hand side then, we need to complete the square. So write a bracket squared, and then look at the coefficient of x, which is negative 6, and half this, negative 3. We then subtract from this bracket the square of that number, so subtract negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared just gives you a 9, so this is take away 9. Then of course there's the add 7 from the previous line. We can simplify the negative 9 add 7 to give negative 2, and now we've written this in the completed square form. The next step is to rearrange to solve, so we're now ready to solve this equation. Remember we want to get x equals. First of all we're going to add 2 to both sides. If we add 2 to the left, then the negative 2 will be gone, so we're just left with the bracket squared. 
If we add 2 to the right hand side, 0 add 2, that's just 2. We can then square root both sides, square root the left first, and the squared will disappear, so it's just x take away 3. And square root the right, remember there are two square roots here, plus or minus the square root of 2. And then we can add 3 to both sides, add 3 to the left, we'll remove the negative 3, so we've just got x. And then add 3 to the right, gives us 3, plus or minus square root 2. The final step is to write your two solutions, so there are two solutions to this. We have x equals 3 plus square root 2, and x equals 3 subtract square root 2. And now we've solved the equation. You could even be asked to solve an equation like this by completing the square. If you haven't already done so, I'd suggest you watch my previous video on completing the square for tricky questions, else this one may not make too much sense. The good news is the right hand side is already equal to 0, so we can write that down. The left hand side though has a 4 as the coefficient of x squared, and this is the tricky point. Remember what we'll do for this is factorise the first two terms. So we'll factorise a 4 out, and then write a large bracket. We'll need to put something inside this bracket, so when we multiply it by 4, we get 4x squared plus 32x. So it would be x squared, since 4 times x squared gives 4x squared, and plus 8x, since 4 times 8 is 32. Don't forget this final term here though, negative 4, we still need to write that down each time. For the next step, we're going to complete the square on what's inside the bracket. So we'll write equals 0 first, and then write a very large bracket. To complete the square, we'll first of all write down a bracket squared, and then half the coefficient of x. Half of 8 is 4. We can then subtract from this the square of that number, so subtract 4 squared, which is subtract 16. And again, this negative 4 on the end still needs to be written down. We'll write equals 0 again, and now we're going to expand this very large bracket. So 4 times all of this bracket is just 4 times all of that bracket, and then 4 times negative 16 is negative 64. And once again, we need to remember to write this negative 4 down. We can now tidy this up a little bit by simplifying, so the bracket stays the same, but negative 64 subtract 4 is negative 68. And this is now in the completed square form. Unfortunately, we're not quite finished yet. The question asked us to solve the equation. The next thing I would do is add 68 to both sides. If we add 68 to the left, it will cancel out the negative 68 that's already there so we'll just be left with 4 times the bracket. If we add 68 to the right, we get 0 add 68, which is 68. We're now going to carry on with the question on the right hand side. The next number we want to deal with is this 4 here at the front. This means 4 times the bracket, so to remove this we'll just divide both sides by 4. If we divide the left by 4, the 4 cancels out and we're just left with the bracket. If we divide 68 by 4, we get 17. The next step is to square root both sides to remove the squared, so square root the left, and we just get x plus 4, square root the right, we get plus or minus, square root 17. And finally, we need to take away 4 from both sides, so take away 4 from the left, we get x, take away 4 from the right, and we get negative 4 plus or minus, square root 17. So we have two solutions to this equation, the first is x equals negative 4 plus square root 17, and the second is x equals negative 4, subtract square root 17. And that question's now finished. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out what I think you should watch next, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads.